Hello everybody, welcome back to Sailing Madness. I'm Dave and as you can see behind me, the boat looks like a bomber's landed on it. Why is that? Well, that's because I needed to get to the fuel tank, which is in the bottom of the starboard cockpit locker. So I've had to empty that locker in order to get to the tank. Why am I getting to the tank? Well, because today I am going to be polishing my fuel. What's fuel polishing? Well, basically it's a posh word for filtering. I'm going to filter the fuel that's in the tank out of the tank through a filter system and back into it again and I'm doing that to remove any diesel bug that may have grown in the tank over winter. Now diesel bug is a microorganism that grows if you get any kind of condensation or water in your tank you can get diesel bug in there and the reason why it's prevalent these days is because they kind of changed the recipe on diesel fuel made it more greener and more cleaner so they reduce the sulfur put all this bio stuff in it and that is what's causing now problems for boats and other diesel vehicles that sit around and do not a lot in the winter months condensation forms in the tank that creates a kind of level of water in the in the bottom of the tank where the diesel bug grows and eventually that bug which is like a slime it'll end its way working its way through your pipes into your fuel filter it could block your fuel filter and worst case scenario it could stall your engine and of course on a sailing boat you only ever use your engine to get in and out of a marina and the last thing you want is your engine to cut out when you are maneuvering in a very tight space because that could lead to all sorts of problems so in order to minimize the effect of diesel bug and to make sure the boat is clean of bug i've got a filter system that i've bought on the boat today and i'm going to do some fuel polishing I'll show you that in just a moment. First of all though, let's get access to the fuel tank. Ooh, it's a bit tight down here. But let me just show you where the fuel tank is. Come on in with me. Right, so the big black thing below my feet, this is the fuel tank here, and I'm gonna get access to the fuel inside it by unscrewing these five screws. Um, this is the uh, sender for the fuel gauge. So I'm gonna take this out, and that'll give me a nice wide access to get my filter hoses into the fuel to start filtering it. Okay, so that's the fuel gauge sender out of the tank. That's given me a nice wide access to the uh, fuel to get the hoses in. Right, so now I've got access to the fuel tank. Let me show you the fuel filter system. This is the fuel polisher here. Uh, this is one of these Raycor filters with a water separator bowl at the bottom. And basically what I'm gonna do is suck the fuel out of the tank through this hose into the filter and then the outlet hose is gonna go into the fuel filler neck on the boat. So I'm just gonna circulate the fuel. Now this pumps and filters at a rate of 340 litres an hour. I've got about half a tank full of diesel down there. Now that's a 150 litre fuel tank, so let's say I've got 75 to 80 litres of fuel in there. So it should only take 20 minutes and then theoretically every bit of fuel should have gone through the filter at least once. Now I know that's not going to happen. The only way to do this and to know that every bit of fuel goes through the filter is to decant the, the contents of the tank and put it into barrels. Now I don't have enough barrels um, to fill, um, I don't have enough barrels for 475 litres of diesel, so I'm gonna have to circulate the fuel in this case. Um, but of course the important thing is to get rid of the sludge and the muck that will be at the bottom of the tank. And that's uh, where I'm gonna be putting the, the, the suction hose right to the bottom of the tank to bring up any water or any diesel bug and sludge that's at the bottom of the tank and then that'll all get caught in the filter. So here we go, let's get everything lined up. Right, so that's the return hose in the deck fitting for the uh, fuel filler. This is the suction hose. So I'm gonna make sure this goes right to the bottom of the fuel tank. Now I'm not sure if you can see this very well on camera, but this fuel tank doesn't have a flat bottom. It's a bit like a swimming pool with a shallow end and a deep end. And the deep end of this fuel tank is right in this forward edge across the, the front of the fuel tank here. So that I'm hoping is where any water and contaminants and muck in that would have gathered over the last couple of months. And that's where I'm gonna be placing the hose to uh, start sucking out this fuel, right down in the bottom edges of that uh, front of the fuel tank there. Right, so that's all the hoses in place. Let's switch it on. Right, okay, so it's a bit noisy when the motor's running, but we're gonna turn it on now and uh, leave it running for, I'm probably gonna give it about an hour. It's only been on a couple of seconds and look at the muck that's come out already. Wow. Right. 
Right, okay, so the polish has been running now for well and truly over an hour. Can't remember if I mentioned the maths before, but basically this runs at 340 litres an hour. Now, there is approximately 75 litres in the tank. It's a 150 litre tank. It's about half full, so let's call that 80 litres. So this is doing 100 litres every 20 minutes. So within about 15 minutes, then I should have been able to polish all the fuel in the tank. So it's gone through and circulated at least once. It's been on over an hour, so the fuel in the tank should have gone through the filter probably four times. You never know for sure, but it doesn't matter. It's not the fuel that's important. What I needed to do was make sure I got all the water out and any other bits of horribleness that were floating or sinking at the bottom of the tank. And I think I've done that because if you look here, you can see the amount of water. All this down the bottom here is water. This is fuel in the top. It's very cloudy, so the filter's doing its job. Whatever is causing that cloudiness hasn't gone back through the filter and back into the tank. So I think it's well worth doing this because this is absolutely minging in here. Now what I would normally do is undo the top, take the filter out and have a look at it. I'm not going to do that on the boat but I'll do that when I get home and I'm in my garage and I'll do it there because if I make a mess on the boat it could end up being a bit of a marine disaster. Okay, let's have a look and see what mess came out of that fuel tank on the boat yesterday. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is drain the water at the bottom of the water separator here. And that should bring out all the muck that uh, came up from the bottom of the tank. And then we'll have a look at it and see what was in there, shall we? Right, I've got some barrels to put the dirty diesel in. Oh, and don't tell the wife, I've just nicked it from the kitchen. Takes a little while to drain this, bit of a slow process. So that's not as dirty as I thought it was going to be. But it's still a lot of black and gunk in there. Now I wanted to catch a bit more of the gunk that came out of the filter but uh, it has sort of all gone in the bottom of the barrel so I didn't catch most of it but I don't know if you can see I'm not sure how closely I can focus on this but this little kind of all these little black bits it's a, it's a bit like coffee sort of jelly but it's uh, it's a bit gungy anyway that's diesel bug glad to have got that out of the tank because that's what blocks your fuel filters and that is what could uh, cause your engine to uh, stop now the diesel bug in the tank is is not that bad. I've seen a lot worse. Probably just about to see it all in the bottom. So uh, there was a fair bit that came out, but uh, but I'm glad it's in there and not in my tank on the boat. Okay, so as you can see, then there was some stuff that came out the bottom of the uh, fuel tank, and I'm so glad it's now in the bottom of this barrel and not sitting in the bottom of the tank on the boat. So I'll have a little bit more confidence coming in and out of marinas, knowing full well that uh, the engine shouldn't cut out because of diesel bug. Now, one thing I did do yesterday before I left the boat and I forgot to film it was I put in the tank a diesel bug killer um, a chemical called marine 16 it's readily available uh, it's said to be one of the best diesel bug killers so I'm going to let that just do its job in the tank and I'll repeat this process uh, on the boat in a couple of months time but for now I'm really pleased that I've got that stuff out it's worth all the effort it's a bit of a big old job cleaning your uh, cockpit locker out of all the the stuff that accumulates in there uh, and then get to your fuel tank spending a good hour with this pumping away filtering the fuel and getting all the crap out of the tank so uh, really pleased if you would like me to do your tank for you if you are in the north wales or northwest area of the uk i'll come to your boat i'll clean your tank out and do exactly on your vessel what i've done for mine and i'll do that for 295 pounds there you go what a bargain right that just about does it for day for today thank you so much for your company as always please feel free to like comment and subscribe and until next time take care see you soon bye bye